This is the Hard Rock Hotel at the Universal Orlando Resort, one of three premier hotels on property. Today, we're gonna to show you around the entire place and talk about why this is our favorite hotel to stay at. Before we get into it, we do have to say, it's almost like a small disclaimer. We're a little partial uh, to this hotel. We did get married here, uh, so it holds a special place in our hearts. And also, it's the closest hotel to our favorite place on earth, which is Universal. So there's some things it has going for it that it really wasn't gonna be a fair comparison to begin with. But there are several other things that make this hotel our favorite other than sentimental reasons. So let's go check them out. Like we said, this is one of the three premier hotels on property, so it's going to be one of the most expensive options to stay here. And lately, it's actually been the most expensive hotel, at least as far as we have seen. But with that higher price tag, you do get some really nice amenities and added benefits, specifically the unlimited express pass. This is one that everyone loves to talk about because it does make up some of that price difference. So when you stay here, everyone in your room gets an unlimited express pass included for the duration of your stay. Another thing we really love about the Premier Hotels is the water taxi. It is the best transportation method to get you to and from the parks. It's like a ride itself. Oh yeah, we get a ton of questions asking how Express works for the Premier Hotels, and it's actually really, really simple. Your room key is your Express Pass. So the day that you check into the hotel, they'll print a room key out for everybody in your room. It'll have your name on it and everything. And then all you have to do is take it to the parks and scan it at the Express Lines. The rooms here at the Hard Rock start off at $372 a night. And unfortunately, they go up from there. That's just a standard room. They have plenty of other options. There's club level, there's suites, there's junior suites. There's even the Graceland suite, which has always been a dream of ours to stay in. But unfortunately, it's like five to 10 grand a night or something like that. Hard Rock or Mr. Hard Rock, that's Mrs. Hard Rock. Somebody with the last name Hard Rock has to own this place, right? If you're watching, uh, yeah, we'd love to stay in the Graceland suite for no money. So something that we used to do like when we were dating is all the room keys, they get a- uh, Like a character Like on a them? character or an IP from the parks. So whoever got the better one, they got their dinner paid for that night. Uh, so there would sometimes be some awesome debates. <laughs> some, we'd be pleading our case when we'd have two that were kind of comparable and not something that was just definitively better than the other one. We still play that game. The only issue now is that we, we both lose. walk into the hotel the vibe like smacks you in the face so the entire resort is supposed to be like a rock stars mansion so they're always playing music they've got rock and roll memorabilia everywhere there's like giant portraits of some of the like most iconic musicians from the industry it's so much fun but inside the lobby there's of course you know your normal hotel stuff like your check-in desk so when you get here you can check into your room as early as seven o'clock in the morning and get your room key aka those express passes now your room probably won't be ready that early in the morning but you can still go ahead and pick up those room keys and then you can drop your bags off with luggage services and go ahead and get to the parks that's not the only thing they have in the lobby though. They also have a ticketing counter or a vacation planning services counter where you can purchase tickets and also pick your tickets up. So if you purchase tickets ahead of time, like annual passes, daytime tickets to the parks, express passes, HHN tickets, you name it, you can pick all of those up here. The reason we always mention that in like every hotel review is because people don't realize how like convenient that is because if you head to the parks to try to pick up tickets you're gonna wait in line and there's almost never a line over there i'm hungry but thankfully there are plenty of great places to get food here so let's grab a snack and talk about it 
we uh, we just ended up getting some little sandwiches from Emac and Bolios. So that's mostly like a like a quick service, like grab and go snacky type place. They do have some hot food, obviously like this. They've got chicken tenders. You can get pizza, uh, but they have like ice cream and pastries. That's also where the Starbucks is, but unfortunately it is a limited menu Starbucks. So it's not like a full blown Starbucks like most of the hotels have. So th there are only certain things that you can get. But the great thing about Emac and Bolio's is that they have really long hours. So it opens really early in the morning, usually around seven, and then they're open until around midnight. So if you get hungry, it's a great place to grab a snack. This is actually the first time that we've grabbed food food from here. We've grabbed snacks and stuff and it was really good good if you don't see anything you want from like these menus there are other options here at the hard rock so a couple of the sit down options you've got the kitchen which if we're being honest we've only ever had breakfast at and it was good uh you can even upgrade to bottomless mimosas we had a friend do that and that was a <laughs> fun day and then up in the lobby just down the hall you've got the palm the palm is like a chain steakhouse uh, it's like a fancy steakhouse so you have to have I'm not gonna say a suit, but you have to have some more dress up clothes to go there. The only time I guess we've ever brought stuff nice enough to go there would have been for our wedding. Speaking of our wedding, this is where it happened. Like right here, right in this area. Right there. Yeah, Anna <laughs> will know exactly where it's at. They said they were gonna put like a plaque down for they never <laughs> there would be no reason to put a plaque down for us. <laughs> We were just we were just standing over here, and what did we find? There's Mardi Gras confetti, <laughs> like right there. <laughs> That's from Mardi Gras. There are also two bars here that serve food as well. The first one is up in the lobby, the Velvet Lounge. This one doesn't open until later in the day, usually around 5 p.m., but it is open until like the early hours of the morning. They have drinks, they have appetizers. They also have live music a lot, and it's just a fun vibe. And then the other bar is out at the pool, so it's gonna be the Beach Club. This one is a full service restaurant, so you can go and sit down and have an entire meal, but you can also order food from your chair at the pool. Aren't you supposed to wait 15 minutes to get in the pool after you eat? Maybe, but who cares? The pool at the Hard Rock is one of our favorite pools here at Universal because it is so much fun. Of course, the pool itself is amazing, but the atmosphere is really what makes it for us. It feels like there's a party going on all the time. A lot of times on the weekends, you can even find a DJ playing music. There'll be lots of games, especially for the kids. And there's a restaurant with a bar. You can even order the food from your poolside chair and they'll just bring the food and your drinks to you. There's also a water slide that I'm gonna check out here in a second, but the fun doesn't stop when you get in the water. They actually have speakers underneath the water here. So when you submerge your head, you can hear the music that's playing. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> that is amazing. Like, I wasn't sure how clear the sound was gonna be, but once I like plugged my nose and wasn't breathing, I could hear it so clearly. Time for the slide. some other activities outside of the poolside games, specifically the arcade. We did decide to uh, compete in some of those games and I just wanna have it on record that I was three for three. Okay, we played basketball, I beat Tyler in basketball, and then we played like table hockey, air hockey. Air hockey. That's it, air hockey. Okay, we played two games of air hockey and I won both you of those games. You can't prove it. <laughs> I won, I won guys. Also the spa or fitness center, of course it's just kind of your typical spa fitness center combo where you can go work out, things like that. But the real benefit to this is that on the day that you check out, okay, after you check out of your hotel, obviously you don't have a room, but if you're not leaving until later that night, you might wanna go to the parks or go to the pool or something like that. And you can head to the fitness center at the end of the day and you can take a shower before heading to the airport so you don't have to be all like sweaty and gross we love the fitness center just for that but now let's go check out the room <laughs> so 
so for this stay, we are staying in just a standard two queen room, hence the two queen beds. You can get this exact same configuration, but with a single king. So if you want like a bigger bed, that is an option. We did not upgrade our view. So uh, we do have a lovely parking lot view, although I can see Rip Ride Rocket from here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but you can upgrade to like a garden view or a pool view that is going to cost you extra. But if you care about what's out your window, you can do that as well. Us personally, we're not in the room enough for the view to really matter. Um, when we're here at Universal, because we're in the parks. And then when we get here, we're crashing. We're crashing and burning in these beds. And speaking of the beds, that's one of our favorite parts. All right, if you're gonna lay like that to talk, <laughs> I'm gonna lay the exact same way. So uh, these beds are extremely comfortable. Also like the linens and things are a little bit nicer than some of the other hotels here. But my favorite part, are these pillows. I have looked at the tags for the last like three <laughs> years. I've been trying to figure out what pillows they use because I love them. They're the most comfortable thing in the entire world. So if anyone knows um, what pillows the Hard Rock Hotel uses here, please let me know. If it's left up to us, we always get two queen beds because I like to make myself look like the Michelin man. So this is, you know, the aftermath of Michelin man pillow. I do have a question though. So something we do, we always get two queens yeah. for real. Like we do, and it's not always to do that, but sometimes. Like this one always becomes the junk bed. Yes, it's like, like our luggage bed. Yeah, you just lay everything on that. Mm -hmm. Like your outfits, everything goes over there. And then you sleep in this bed. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else do that? You think that's like normal? <laughs> Let us know if we are the only people who do that or if you guys do that too. One of our favorite things to do is play a little roulette. Just open this door and pray to God that your neighbor doesn't have it open. We win again. <laughs> we don't always win. Another really cool feature here. It's, of course, you got, you know, people make sure who is showing up to your room. And then you've got one for your belly button. Like it's just right there. You show your belly button to the person outside. But other than that, this is just a standard two queen room. The theming is nice. It is, you know, like hard rock and music oriented. Uh, the rooms also have a mini fridge. It is a pretty small fridge, but it does exist. They don't have a microwave though, but I have heard that if you call down to the front desk, you can request a microwave. I think there might be like a charge associated with it. I couldn't find anything like official online, but I've heard that's possible. One thing we forgot to mention in the room is that while you're staying at the Hard Rock, you can actually request that a guitar be sent to your room for you to play. They have like 18 different Fender guitars for you to choose from, and they are subject to availability. The only thing that's kind of a bummer is like the amplifier or whatever that they send with it is attached to headphones so you can't just like jam out for your whole floor to hear that'd be fun uh, but then at the very end of your stay once you check out and once you're done with your express pass you can take your room key to the gift shop in the lobby and you can actually have your room key made into a guitar pick it's a really fun experience and it's basically just a guitar pick shaped hole punch so you can pick like whatever you want on your room key that you want to be the guitar pick uh, but it's cool it makes like a fun little like take home memento from the trip mr thesaurus would say that is a souvenir and i think that's the word you were looking for are we gonna rent a guitar tonight no <laughs> it's probably for the best neither one of us play guitar <laughs> but that was a lot of fun uh, we hope that this hotel review was helpful if you want something that's a little more budget friendly you could check out this video right here of Cabana Bay. But thanks for hanging out, guys, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Rock on! <laughs>